Hi there grade nines and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Maths. I hope you're all keeping well today and that you're all snugly and warm and ready for today's lesson because when you're warm you learn well. Right okay let's get going. Okay we're going to do our transformation geometry and this is the third lesson in this series. I hope you're going to enjoy today because we are going to do something slightly different rather than looking at the two axes that we normally look at. Okay, and you're probably thinking, what on earth is she talking about? But let's see. So we're going to be looking at more reflections. And we are going to be looking at how to reflect across the line y equals x. What is that line, you ask? Let's have a look at what it is. Okay, there we have our Cartesian plane. Remember, our horizontal axis is the x-axis and our vertical axis is the y-axis. So the line y is equal to x is exactly that. Where x is one point, y is the same point. So as you can see, we're going to start at the point of origin. Where x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Therefore, where x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Where x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2. Where x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3, and so on. And I'm sure you've seen the pattern. So our x-coordinate is exactly the same as the y-coordinate. And we will join a line, uh, draw a line through them to join them. And that will give us a diagonal line that goes through the point of origin. And as you can see, our line y is equal to x doesn't only go into the first quadrant and be positive. It also goes into the third quadrant and where y, where x is a negative, so y is the same negative. And as you can see there, minus 1 and minus 1. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to reflect across this line. So obviously, if we're going to take a, a point here, we're going to reflect a point to over there. Its image will be over there. But let me not try and do it on this axis or on this diagram here. Let's have a look at another one. Right, so there's our Cartesian plane, and there is our y is equal to x line. Everybody understand how I got it? Okay, it should go straight through our point of origin, and it should be a diagonal line going up towards the right and down towards the left. Okay, making sure that our points are where y is equal to x. So whatever the x value is, the y value is exactly the same. So we're going to plot a point. And there's point A. And remember, we're going to reflect it across that line, not across the y-axis or the x-axis. Um, in a previous lesson, we did that. But we're going to reflect it across the line y equals x. And remember when we spoke about reflections before, a reflection is something, if you put a mirror in front of you, your reflection would show in the mirror. So it is exactly the same as you. It looks exactly the same as you. You are being shown in the mirror. It is your reflection. So it's the same thing here. If we put a mirror up on that line, y is equal to x, a would show in the mirror on the other side of the line. And where would it show? It would show exactly there. So let's have a look at what the coordinates were for a. They are 4, 5, okay? The x value is 4 and the y value is 5. So what are the coordinates for A1? A1 would be where the x value is 5 and the y value is 4. Do you notice something? Keep that in your mind. Let's go on. Right, let's look at another set of points. Okay, there is our y is equal to x line. And we've got our first point, B, where x is 1 and y is 4. And then our second point, B1, and what are the coordinates for that? Let's have a look. Okay, so as we said just now, the coordinates for point B are 1, 4. X is 1, Y is 4. Let's have a look at the coordinates for B1. Okay, X is now 4 and Y is 1. Are you seeing a pattern? Let's look at one more. Okay, we're going to now reflect across the Y equals X line again with another point. And there is our y equals x line. And let's have a look. There is c right down the bottom in the negative quadrant, in the third quadrant, where x is minus 3 and y is minus 5. Okay, I'm sure you've guessed where c1 is. x is minus 5 and y is minus 3. So the coordinates for point c are minus 3, minus 5. And the coordinates for c1 are minus 5, 
minus 3. What did you notice? Okay, let's have a look. In the first diagram, the coordinates for point A are 4, 5, and the coordinates for point A1 are 5, 4. In the second diagram, the coordinates for point B are 1, 4, and the coordinates for point B1, its image, are 4, 1. The coordinates for point in the third diagram, coordinates for point C, minus 3, minus 5, and the coordinates for point C1 are five, minus 5, minus 3. Can you see how each time the coordinates have changed around? So in other words, where it was x, it now becomes y, and the y value now becomes the x value. Look at point B, the, y, the x value now is the y value, and the y value is now the x value. Same thing for point C, the x value became the y value, and the y value became the x value. So we can say that x and y, the x and y coordinates are interchanged when you reflect a point across the y equals x line. Okay, it only happens when you're reflecting across the y equals x line. So the coordinates are interchanged. That's what we say. Okay, so now because they are interchanged, you can use the table below and write down the coordinates of the reflected point in each case. Okay, here's the table. You can see that the coordinates have been left out for some points. I want you to pause the video and I want you to try and figure out, because I'm sure you definitely can, what the coordinates are for the points that have been left out, where the coordinates have been left out. So pause the video now and when we come back, we'll go over what you've done. Right, let's see how you did. Okay, for E, the coordinates were 5 and 2. So E1, the coordinates, you're absolutely right, became 2, 5. For F, we are not given the F coordinates, we're given its image. F1 coordinates are minus 1, minus 3. So then F coordinates, the original point, will be minus 3, minus 1. Can you see how they've interchanged? Okay, G, we were given the coordinates, coordinates sorry, minus 2, 1. So G1, the coordinates are going to become 1 minus 2. Right. Everybody happy with that? Did you all get that right? Remember, if you did get stuck, go back um, in the video and go over it a little bit more, and then you will figure out maybe where you've made a mistake. Alternatively, you can send an email to grade9 at worksheetcloud.com, and somebody will get back to you with an answer to your query. Right, let's go on. Okay, we're now going to plot those points that you put on the table, that you filled in. I want you to draw your Cartesian plane, or if you're using block paper, you can just put in the axes. No problem, whichever way around you want to do it. Um, and we're going to plot these points. What I want you to do, there is your Cartesian plane with your y equals x line. I want you now to plot those points on your own. So pause the video, and when we come back, we'll see how you've done. Right, let's see. So there is our first point. E is 5 and 2. So to plot our E1, it is the image, remember, on the other side of the y equals x line. And there we're going to get it. And it is 2, 5. So that would be E1. It's the image of E. Okay. The next one, we're going to plot point F, which is minus 3, minus 1. Sorry, you were given F1 first, so that's F1, it's minus 1, minus 3, and we're going to plot its image at minus 3, minus 1, and that's the original point F. Okay, then the next one is G, which is minus 2, 1, and G1 is 1, minus 2. There we go. Okay, right, did you all get that? Have you all figured out that we can interchange the points. Okay, so now we are going to join the original point to its image. So here we're going to join it with a line, using a line, joining those two points, those two points, and those two points. So let's join them. There we have it. Okay, now do you notice something here? But let's see, okay? We're going to put in our little box that actually shows a right angle. If you draw a little box, 
but you have to make sure that it is actually a square. So even if you draw it one centimeter by one centimeter, if it fits exactly there, it means that that's a right angle. So it means that where E1 or the line E, E1 crosses the line Y is equal to X, it crosses at a right angle. What does that tell us? It's perpendicular to the line. So line E, E1 is perpendicular to the line Y equals X. Okay, let's see if it happens for another one. There we go down to F. That was the second lot of points that we plotted. The little box fits perfectly, so that is perpendicular. Line F, F1 is perpendicular to our line Y equals X. Does it happen for G, G1? It does. Okay, if you um, don't want to trust that the little box, then please use your protractor and put it on your line um, Y equals X and see if the other line cuts it at 90 degrees. It should if the points are in the right place and therefore your lines that are joining two points, two reflected points or the point and its image um, cuts the line Y equal X at a right angle which means it is perpendicular. So a line joining a point and its image is perpendicular to line Y equals X. Okay. Everybody happy with that? Like I said, again, use your protractor to double check that I am right. And if you have any questions, don't forget to send your questions in to grade 9 at worksheetcloud.com or go back in the video and watch it from the beginning. And remember, at any point, you can pause your video and you can work it out on your piece of paper to prove what I'm saying. All right, the next thing is have a look at the distance between our point and its image away from the line y equals x. So here, if we look, we've got a full block and a half a block, a half a block and a full block. Okay, if we go down here, we've got one full block and one full block, which means that these two definitely are the same distance apart. This one may look a little bit shorter because we've got that block there, um, the right angle block, and we've got E1 sitting on the line. If we had to move it up there and not have the block, you would probably see that it is the same distance on this side and this side. But let's look at G. We've got a block and a half and a half a block and a whole block. Okay, so they are, there's the same distance on this side and this side of the line y equals x and the same for f, same distance on this side and on this side. Do you see that on the Cartesian plane that you drew with your points and their images? If you do, then we can prove that a point and its image are the same distance from line y equals x. Okay, so the first thing that we've seen is that the um, points are interchanged. The second thing is that the line joining a point to its image is perpendicular to the line y equals x. And the third thing that we've seen is that a point and its image are the same distance from line y equals x. Okay, so let's test what we know. Here is another Cartesian plane. It looks different to the one that we've been working with. It's a little bit bigger, so it allows us to put in different points all together. Okay, there's our line, y is equal to x. What are we going to do? Okay, we're going to plot point L at 10, 3. So remember, x comes first, it's 10, and 3, which will, should be there. Okay, there's our point L. We are now going to uh, plot point L1 as the image of point L across the line y equals x. Guys, remember a reflection is if you had to put a mirror here, what would it look like in the mirror? It would look like it was on the other side of the line, but it would be in the same position on the other side of the line. So let's plot point L1 as the image of point L across the line y equals x. And there it is. That's L1. So what are the coordinates for L1? That would be 3, 10. Can you see it's on the 3x line and on the 10y line? So the coordinates are 3, 10. Okay, what is the next thing we have to do? We have to join L to L1, just like that. Okay, and then we have to figure out if this line is perpendicular to line y equals x. 
Again, like I said, guys, you can take your protractor and you can see if it, the, it uh, joins at a 90 degree angle here. If it does, then it is perpendicular because it is crossing at a right angle. So is it? Yes, it is. There we've put our little block. It fits perfectly. It means that it is perpendicular. So is this line perpendicular to line Y equals X? Yes, it is. Okay, and the line we're talking about is when we have joined our line L to L1, our point to its image. Okay, the next question is, is point L and point L1 the same distance from line Y is equal to X? Well, let's count. One, two, three and a half blocks. Half, one, two, three and a half blocks. So that means it is the same distance from y equals x. So L is the same distance from y equals x as L1 is. Okay, right, what can we conclude? What are the things that we can put down to say that this will always happen when we are reflecting a point? First thing is that points are reflected across the um, y equals x means that their coordinates are interchanged. Remember when we looked at them, the y value became the x value and the x value became the y value. That means that the coordinates are interchanged. Then after that, what did we do? We drew a line that joins the point to its image and we figured out that that line is perpendicular to the line y equals x. In other words, it crosses it, cuts it at 90 degrees, okay? And then the last thing is that the, they are the same distance from line y equals x. So the coordinates are the same distance from line y equals x. So let's just go over it one more time. When points are reflected across the line y equals x, their coordinates are interchanged. So if you are asked to reflect a point um, and to its image across line y equals x, then you know that you just interchange the points and you will get exactly the right position for your image. Okay. Then when you draw a line um, through, well, to join the point and its image, that line will be perpendicular to y equals x. This could actually come in quite handy when you are um, working with geometry and points have been reflected across the line. Okay, I know this is a geometry section, but when we start looking at um, shapes that have been reflected across the y equals x line, we could probably actually see um, how we can use that as proof um, of certain things when we are working out area or perimeter or whatever it may be. Okay, so we know that they're perpendicular and that they are the same distance from y equals x. So your two points are exactly the same distance from line y equals x. Okay, everybody happy with that? You've done so well in this lesson, guys. Um, I hope you found it fun. It might be a little bit jumbled, but go back and watch from the beginning again, and you will see how the coordinates are interchanged. You will see how when you join the line from a point to its image, it is perpendicular to line y equals x, and you will see that they're same, they are the same distance apart. Okay, in other words, the coordinates are the same distance from y equals x. Okay, play around with it, guys. Don't forget to do the activity that is attached to this um, lesson, and I hope you have fun. See you next time. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for joining me for this lesson. I hope to see you again soon.